Christmas. You know how amazing it is that I remember to say that? 
All right, let's have a little fun. No, I haven't forgotten you yet. So aliens came to Earth, and they're so nice. There's a huge televised event with all the world leaders in attendance. The Pope asks, do you know Jesus Christ? The aliens say, do we ever? Awesome guy, swings by the planet every couple of years to say hi. The Pope exclaims, every couple of years? But what? We're still waiting for the second coming. The alien replies, maybe you didn't like your chocolate. The Pope is flabbergasted. What does chocolate have to do with anything? The alien says, well, we came the first time, we gave him a huge box of chocolates. Why? What'd you guys give him? Let that sink in. <laughs> All right, we got two announcements. How y'all wanna handle this? I don't know. You told me that you had an announcement. We do, we do. You want this mic or do you want a handheld? Oh, come up there. All right. Um, we have an idea for a, a new ministry, a, a new group here in the church because Brian's always telling us church is about relationships, right? Relationship with God, relationship with each other, relationship with everybody. So um, this woman had a really good idea. And Peg's idea was that we start a group for, she wants to call it Single Again. For people that have, um, that are currently unmarried or unattached, um, who are, who, you should have done this. <laughs> anyway, um, a singles kind of group for friendships and connection and, there are a number of people in this congregation who are widowed or divorced or <clears throat> um, no longer with a partner. And, um, you know, we need friends too. And Peg and I are, have both come to this, well, we're both widows. Um, and so we're gonna start this group. We're gonna see what kind of interest there is. And we, um, Peg sent out a letter, uh, which you may or may not have gotten, I don't know. Um, but if you didn't, it's because we did a bad job of looking through the church rolls or we don't realize that you are single again. Um, so Friday, we're going to do lunch here at the church, Fellowship Hall. Um, bring yourself, 12 o'clock noon and maybe till 2, we'll talk about what this group could look like, um, what it might be. Um, we'll provide the lunch this time. You can throw in some money if you want. And is there anything else I've forgotten? Probably a lot of things. <laughs> but anyway, Friday, this Friday, 12 o'clock noon, come and join us for fellowship and <laughs> friendship and connection and the sharing of God's love. Um, please. Thank you. And you don't have to be a church member, actually. Everybody is invited. One of the scariest things I can think of just happened. My mother-in-law was quoting me. I know. That means she actually listens to me. You quote me all the time. There's a difference. <laughs> Forgive me for one second. Pam. Yes, sir. Will you be here next Sunday? Yes, sir. Excellent. Can you occupy this seat next Sunday? Excellent. <laughs> Before I forget, today is Christmas in July. We're celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior. Um, the cake, there's cake, and this is an awesome cake. It really is. And I took a picture of it, but I'm hoping somebody gets a picture of it because I'm sorry to say, I'm ashamed to say, I'm embarrassing. I couldn't get the top off that thing. So I've got a picture with the top on. I couldn't get it off. I was afraid of messing it up. So some of you who are much, it's a childproof thing. I don't know. Somebody get a better picture of the cake, please. I think it's awesome. Y'all can mock, mock me. I don't care. But 
I didn't think they could do that in July. I think that's all I got. Okay. Let's pray. Loving God, we gather at the foot of your throne. We gather because you have called us. We gather with a measure of joy. We celebrate our friends who are not here, but who are traveling, who are enjoying life. We gather with a measure of sadness, for there is a number of us who have contracted the virus. Loving God, let your spirit fill our hearts. Make this morning a joyful occasion where your transforming work continues in our lives. Lord, help us to focus on you. To focus on the promises and the possibilities found only in you. Guide us and lift us up. All of these things we pray in your name. Amen. Amen. Please stand if you are able and join me in the responsive call to worship. Christ is born. Hallelujah. Jesus is among us. Hallelujah. The Word has become flesh. Hallelujah. 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 be seated. Even on this day of celebration, 
let us come before the Holy One of Israel, confessing our sins with contrite hearts so that we may not deceive ourselves, but instead know the truth of our forgiveness. Please join me in the corporate prayer of confession. Almighty God, we confess that our hearts have not been open to all that you have revealed to us in the nativity of your Son. You sent Christ to be born as a helpless child, and yet we have not attended to the suffering of children. You chose humble Mary to be mother of our Lord Jesus, and yet we have not attended to the struggles of women. The Holy Family could find no room in Bethlehem but a stable, and yet we have not attended to the cry of the homeless or the aliens among us. You announced your birth to lowly shepherds, yet we ignore those who tend our farms and fields. Forgive our lack of attention and free us for joyful compassion that we may know Christ is serving others. Through Jesus Christ we pray, amen. Bring forth in singing, for the Lord has redeemed us. See the salvation of God. Find comfort in the divine arms. Thanks be to God. Since God has forgiven us in Christ, let us forgive one another. As we seek to be an inclusive community built upon God's shalom, let us greet one another with the peace of Christ be with you and the response being, and also with you. Peace of Christ be with you. Also with you. Thank you. Peace of Christ be with you. Christ. He's a Christ. He's a Christ be with you. Peace of Christ be with you. Would any of you like to say peace of Christ to the people who are watching this video? Peace of Christ be with you. Peace of Christ be with you. Thank you. You too. By the light of the Holy Spirit shining in our midst, open our hearts and minds, O oh God, to your word, present now and always, for the sake of your holy name. Amen. Amen. The first scripture reading today comes from the New Testament, from a pastoral letter to Titus, an important associate of Paul. The reading is from chapter 2 verses 11 to 14. And I'm going to be reading from the message, the Bible in contemporary language by Eugene Peterson. Listen for what the Spirit is saying to the church. God's readiness to forgive and give is now public. Salvation is available for everyone. We are being shown how to turn our backs on a godless, indulgent life and how to take on a God-filled, God-honoring life. This new life is starting right now, 
and is whetting our appetites for the glorious day when our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, appears. He gave us life to free us from a dark, rebellious life into this good, pure life, uncorrupted by the world. He is making us a people he can be proud of, a people who are passionate about doing the right thing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God.